most people, most historians, don't pay attention to juries. It's been ignored. So part of what I want to do here today is convince you that juries are worth studying, worth talking about, and are in good shape. Before the registration, before this election, Miss Anthony called on me for advice. I'm her lawyer. I told her to vote. That's her lawyer talking. The great thing about this document <coughs> is Susan B. Anthony talks. So if you go a couple more pages, it gets 83 here. You'll see Usually you can click on PDF to print also, so um, if they choose a print or email the picture of themselves, the article themselves. So there's a lot of information there, and there's a source citation already in uh, MLA format. It's in the database. In terms of opening an assignment, like, okay, so now I'm going to take the information, make a pamphlet, and start with this and as a way to voice the way in which pamphlets were used. Definitely. So you're, kind of, you're teaching two ways. You're teaching conceptually how people were heard I'm back then. I'm not linear. Yeah, I but you're, how, how you heard back then, but you're also getting into the content. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very so I've got top four, number one, docs. Um, over here, what do we get for 11th grade? And, I mean, uh, Ryan, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. We went with uh, number seven. You guys take a look at your docs. Why number seven? Can you explain that real quick? Well, I oh, this is the morning okay. part, so we'll let my colleague why we picked number seven. But I agree with you. I, I, I liked it because it's it works in the first part of the 11th grade unit or the, when you're talking about the Constitution. A lot of my kids seem to come with a sort of a cynical idea of what the you know, Constitution is. It's a common concept even among my students that it was written by slaveholders. And here's a debate of two African Americans having this debate, as opposed to being two white people having this debate. And they are, um, and it really it flushes out sort of the. It's they're very. It's it's a simple reading. It's not it's not very complicated reading, especially uh, Ward's argument. Um, and then bringing in number eight to sort of say how people evolve and change. And you have the, you know you have the right to change when you start thinking things differently. Um, I think it opens up a bigger concept, and then it can be brought back when you're talking about, um, you know, the 11th grade, we're talking about reconstruction. Um, we can bring that article back. So I think in terms of being useful, 